Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Lunchtime Lottery, the most delicious show on the internet. I am your co-host, Patrick Cloud, and the answer is no. To hear more, did not get a makeover and look way better now. I got a guest host today. We got Miss Lulu. What it do do? What it do do, Pat Pat? How oh, is good to be back back? Oh yeah. Well, how many episodes of this have you done? One. This is my second one. Oh, okay. We'll bet. Welcome back. Uh, you know, to, to hear more, we'll be back next time. We just could not get our schedules to uh, coincide today. Uh, so yes, we uh, we are doing some lunchtime lottery. Uh, Lulu, I took some uh, I took some initiative. You know, I, I hear women like that. I love when a man leads. Did you lead me down a path of good food and righteousness? Uh, interesting food and righteousness. The good ah. of up to you. You know, I, I you know I, I like a little pizzazz. You know, so. Um, I, I, I went to I went into your neighborhood. I scoured around, not physically, mm -hmm. super creepy. I was, I was, I was like, you're a real stalker. That's real stalker. <laughs> so um, how do you feel about uh, Filipino food? I don't think I've ever had Filipino food. Initiative, new things. I'm checking all the boxes. All right. You are off the box. Cause I love a man who like takes me out to do new places, new things, new everything. You have to go out. You, you have to. I have to leave. This is good, Pat. You have a good fight. Let's go. Well, I'm, I'm already on tomorrow. Um, well, let's, see, well, let's see if you like it first. <laughs> so I have on its way to you mm -hmm. a place called Grill City Panorama. I like the Grill, word panorama. So, Grill City Panorama. Right. It is Filipino food. And mm -hmm. I was kind of, you know, perusing the, the menu. There's some 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 interesting stuff. What I ended up giving you, uh, getting you, was called chicken tocino. Ooh, that's like that sounds good. I think I think that's what is how you pronounce it, chicken tocino. It looked interesting. So it's basically this marinated uh, chicken. Mm. Uh, have you ever had a bento box? It's like those. It's like those boxes that have like a, no things in them. Kind of looks like that. So there's one segment that has the chicken, and it's like this marinated mar marinated chicken. Uh, mm. There's garlic rice. Mm. Um, and then there's the, what looks like a crab and veggie omelet that's kind of like on the side. And then it has something called acharang labanos. Can we get like translations at the bottom or spelling? <laughs> you, you gotta be in the, you gotta be in the, in the know. In the know. Uh, the, the, the dip was what was interesting. It was mm -hmm. spicy vinegar. A spicy vinegar dip. Spicy. So wait, what do we use the dip for? For it's up to you. It looks like they got some little carrots and onions. I don't know if they want you to dip it with the, the garlic rice and the chicken, or maybe. Oh, you just pour it all on the rice. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe. So that's on its way to you. And then on its way to me, I found a place locally I've never been to. It's called Gringos Fish Tacos Mariscos and Wings. You speak Spanish, right? Well, Gringos is Americans. So what's mariscos? Mariscos? I yeah. don't know. Mariscos. I'm gonna Maris, know. Mariscos. A type of sauce? What does the word mean? Shellfish. Oh, it's a shellfish. Oh! Plural of marisco, which is marine. Uh, seafood from mar, which is sea. Isco. I butchered that. <laughs> I don't think I said that right. But I think so either, because I was like, wait a minute. Shellfish. Yeah, shellfish. Shellfish. So American shellfish and wings? Mm hmm And I got what looked interesting. It was fried shrimp tacos. And what looked interesting about it was it was like fried that way. So I don't think it bends. I think you just eat it like you would eat a Frisbee if you were to. What? Yeah. <laughs> so you got a fried Frisbee? I got a fried shrimp Frisbee. Mm. So I think it's about 30 minutes away from you. And mine is about 35-ish minutes away from me. So uh, we gonna just do a quick advertisement and then we gonna eat, sound good? Sound good to me. Lulu, I have a question. Ask away, I have answers. What, what do you think about a freshly groomed, nicely smelling man package? Ooh, that's every woman's dream. All day and night to have a freshly groomed man package? Yeah. What more could a woman want? You don't want it to just look like the Amazon jungle down there, just all kerfluffle. And it's like vines and grass every, no, no. 
So, so men, you heard it from the source. This is what women want, okay? So I want you to close your eyes and imagine shaving with a sleek, well-designed and optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite time. Shaving time may be your favy time in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> well, let me just say, I'm one of the first people to try the new 4.0 and I'm blown away by the performance, the craftsmanship, the details on the Lawnmower 4.0 are next level, okay? I, I remember being a kid trying to shave with the little, little straight razors and stuff, mm. nicking balls, you don't wanna nick your ball. No. That's a thing of the past. Now Manscaped has engineered the ultimate groin and body trimmer by fo mm. focusing on intelligent functionality and an incredibly comfortable grooming experience. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to mm. reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. I now feel confident shaving my boys. Uh, <laughs> the Lawnmower 4.0 even allows you to customize your trim through uh, additional guard lengths and with sizes one through four. And did I mention wireless charging? <sighs> There is a new wireless charging system that lets uh, le uh, uses electromagnetic induction, uh, which can help battery length last longer. I don't know what that means, but it sounds scientific. -y. So it's time for you to get your own ball, hair, and body trimmer with Manscaped to make the me time the best time and enhance mm. confidence with some smooth boys. Okay, get 20% off and free shipping with the code Scary Lunch at Manscaped.com. One more time, 20% off and free shipping with the code Scary Lunch at manscaped.com your balls will thank you mm -hmm. and i may may i just say you don't have to manscape alone ladies if you want to manscape your man with your man it is definitely a great bonding experience a manscape date a manscape date you know have a little manscape a little wine and enjoy your free time womanscape too you guys be shaving each other is that weird yeah we don't do yeah that. just a man just a man just a just man. man yeah manscape <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is this is the time. This is the time we like of the show. Mm -hmm. This is the is it lunchtime? Favorite part. Okay. So Lulu went out and got her 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 grub. I went and got my mariscos. And you know it's fire when they hit you with the thank you bag. Chum on now. The thank you bag. Oh, that looks so neat. It doesn't it? Doesn't it look professional and like, sturdy? Like a Jetsons. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look. So futuristic. You, it you, is. You'll notice there's a, a drink. I, I I I threw a little extra something in there. Oh, thank you, Pat. I don't want you to be thirsty. So, See, clearly I did not come prepared for with a drink, so. Well, what I got you was called calamansi juice. Oh, a calamansi juice. Calamansi, calamansi. juice. So um, it's uh, it's actually something I don't I don't know at the moment. But is it alcoholic or is it non-alcoholic? Oh no 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 no! This is just a. This oh, it's just juice juice. So this is the Filipino version of lemonade and lime. I love lemonade. Super refreshing. Best served ice cold. Um, and it's uh, it's from one tree that bears fruit all year long, the calamansi tree. Don't know what it is. Well, let me know if it's if it's if it's tasty. Do I need to go get ice? Uh, does it have ice in it? I don't think so. It feels pretty cold though. Throw some but ice. I could get some ice. Throw some ice in there. Get it off refreshing. Hold on, I'm gonna get some ice. I'm back with the ice. Get you some ice. I'm gonna just rip this bag open. Ooh, from the looks of. From the looks of things, it looks really good. All right, well, it is, um, I mean, I could tell it was knocked around a little in the car. You know, that's <laughs> what it happened. That's, that's normal. What is, it's looking pretty tasty. Oh, that looks pretty good. Is that avocados? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be so, like top down. Ooh, top down. Chrome spinning. You know what, I mean? uh, what kind of sauce did they give you? It looks like a green cilantro sauce. Ooh, put that on there like that. Send it my way. Okay, so this is how they gave it to me in the box. It looks pretty important. Wow, okay. Which I like. And it's really heavy, so they wasn't stingy on the rice either. That's efficient. This is this is like a grown person meal. Like, like this is a man's meal. I was wrong. It's actually, it is folded. 
Okay, so they put it on top and on the inside? So they, yeah, so the shrimp is um, actually just in the inside. It's cabbage, uh, this really nice looking sauce, and avocado on the top. I've never seen a, a folded taco with so much stuff on the side. Me neither. <laughs> they're not playing with this package and they're like, nobody is gonna steal this food. Okay. Well, this smells so good. It does? Oh, good, good. Oh. So they have the rice and the omelet together and then the chicken on the side. Okay. I'm not sure what this is up here. It's like carrot and maybe onion. So the sauce spilled, but it's okay because it stayed in the little cup corner thingy. Oh, is, is that the vinegar joint you was telling me about? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me taste that part. That part. Oh, yeah. Let me, yeah. let me. Really good. Okay. Really good. Tip it over and back into the cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just let it waterfall onto the uh onto the rice itself. Oh, like with the bend? Yes. Bend, bend, bend. The bend omelet on top of the rice. The omelet looks a little chunky. It's a little chunky, and I usually don't like to let my food touch, so I'm gonna put the omelet on its own. Okay. This is a this is a little heavy omelet though. I did not. This is they really giving you breakfast in the evening. I might as well see. So this is the omelet, and it's a whole thing of rice. Okay, maybe I should just try the um. I'm usually it looks like it has maybe is there mushrooms in this? Got some. It's like a spicy cilantro sauce. Fire. Oh, that looks lit. Okay. What you said was in the omelet? Um, crab. And. Oh, what else? One second. Let me see this. Hey, this, this omelet pretty fire. Is uh, it lobster crab, too? Crab and veggie. Crab and veggie. Okay. This joint kind of fire. I'm not even mad at that. Just the whole thing by itself. I can't believe they give you this with the chicken and the rice. Right? That's a lot of food. Oh my God. Was a taco for him? This is the best shrimp taco I already have. Oh, I've, for real? Already. Oh my God. The shrimp on the inside is fire, but. Okay, so their rice, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a sticky rice. Is it like a sticky rice or? Garlic rice. Okay, I don't taste the garlic at no. all. Mm -mm. Garlic-ish with the hint. I could taste the hint after. Let me taste this chicken. Wow. Hey, this chicken right here, is everything. Is it? It is hitting. What does it taste like? Like fresh off the grill, summertime, but it's like some Asian dudes on the grill hanging out with black people and they put their stuff together and put it on the same grill. You know, more remind you of like teriyaki or kind of like a spicy? It's a teriyaki. It's not spicy at all. No. It's uh, literally like a teriyaki, like a good barbecue teriyaki uh, chicken. Uh, yeah. Cause it's real tender too. It like just comes off of like, I just want to put it in the rice mm -hmm. and I'll be Gucci. This is really good. I'm not even mad at the rice after the chicken, to be honest. I like my rice a little bit more um, solid. This is more like mushy rice. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. wow, this chicken is everything. Whatever this, um slaw is on top is really what's selling it on top of the taco mm -hmm. is it taste like a, like what what kind of shrimp is it is like is it seasoned like cajun or i have no idea because it's fried it's a, but here, let me bust it open i'll bust it open for me yeah bust that taco open so let me see what the inside is looking like okay it looks it's interesting. I don't even, I can't even like make it out. It looks like it was uh, butterfly shrimp. Mm. Or like some kind of, um, what's a butter, is butterfly shrimp the type of shrimp or how it oh. I think it's the, the way it looks. Mm. 
Isn't that like the bigger one? No. I don't know. I just started eating seafood like a couple years ago. On that team. Well, yeah, I think they fried the whole thing, um, the whole taco. So I couldn't even really tell. It was just like this piece of fried shrimp. But let me try this. This. Well, that sounded good, wasn't it? Like I had some nice little pour. That was a nice little pour. It was a commercial thing. Right. More Rewind this back for pleasures. Yeah. All right, let me try it. What's it looking like? Oh, okay. You had the. Run it back. Run it back. It tastes like like a healthy lemonade. What? Like what? like a crystal light. It's like, it's not a lot of sugar. It's not really that sweet, but it's like natural sweetness. Okay. So it's not, this is not sweet at all. So, so but, not sweet as lemonade. But it's not bad. Here's the thing. I don't like my, I don't like my lemonade too sweet. You know, I don't like when it's just all sugar. Mm -hmm. So this, this like somebody was healthy making this, like even scoops of sugar went into this. So this is more natural than anything. Does it make you like it more or less than? More. Because of I, feel, I feel like this is healthy. Like, I'm like, I get like a little guilty pleasure. You know, I don't know what was in this that made it sweet, but it tastes healthy. But I can see why it's reminiscent of a lemonade. Sugar is what makes lemonade hit though. Exactly. This is more like natural the natural juices and berries of whatever fruit this was. Listen, I have no- I'm, I'm at it that though. I have no self-control. I see. I have no self-control. Was it good? <laughs> After the first taco, I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat these later. I'm gonna hit the review, right? Before I knew it, I was halfway through the second taco. Damn near, I was like, did they bite my stuff? You know, but I was like clearly eating it already. And like, and then I was just like, all right, for sure. Just let's, let's hit the review. How and big were the tacos? Huh? How I big were the tacos? I keep blacking out. And then I wake up and I'm like, I got like two more bites left. And I'm like, yo, what, what? We were That's a good ass taco if it make you black out and then come back and then eat the rest and then black out again. I was like, we were supposed to savor this for later. No, I'm saving this. This is a lot of food. I can't believe this, it. When there's one meal. It looked so like efficient before you wrapped it, unwrapped it. And now it's yeah. like a, a crazy amount of food. First of all, I've been eating rice with every piece of chicken. I have not even dented the rice. I have oh, not wow. dented it. That is a lot. This is a whole bunch of rice. And you've been but, dipping it uh, with the vinegar and the chicken all in one? All in one, and it's so fire. I didn't expect the vinegar sauce to be hitting like that. Wow. Because this is a whole bunch of things that I would never put together at once. I've never even heard of vinegar sauce. <laughs> All right, well, since you got kind of like the, the smorgasbord, mm -hmm. let's go one by one. It seemed like the, the rice was the most up in the air, so what would you rate the rice out of 10? Out of 10, I'll give the rice a five. Okay. Not the best right. first. Not the best rice. I don't, um, it was supposed to be garlic rice, mm -hmm. not a lot of garlic. Mm -hmm. um, like you have to like search for the garlic vibe of it all. Okay. Um, what I, I could do without the rice. To okay. Be this, this could have hit the same. Without, without the rice. Yes, definitely. 100. Okay. What about the crab and veggie omelet? The crab and veggie omelet. I'm not mad at it. I don't know if this is like a Filipino thing. Do they do eggs and breakfast with uh, with their lunch? Not I'm not sure. sure, but I have been to a few restaurants that had like egg um, very prominent in a lot of the dishes or the sides, you know, so. Mm. Okay, so out of a 10, I'll give it a solid eight. Nice. I'm, not, I'm not mad at this omelet at all. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, I don't even do veggies. I, really? I hate veg. I hate vegetables. Oh, huh. I'm a child. Okay, 
When you said you like the healthy lemonade, I assumed that you, you know, were about mm -mm. that life. Okay. No. I like I like my, my I like my healthy options disguised in bad food. You know, make me believe I'm eating something bad. So the omelet, I don't like veggies, I don't like mushrooms, I don't like anything like that. But for whatever reason, the way they blended it, the way they mixed it is a good ass omelet. I with a, a nice glass of champagne. Woo! Okay. I felt fancy. Champagne. That seemed like a, a natural duo for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh and then the heavy hitter. What about this Filipino chicken? Oh, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna get the official name for it. The chicken tocino. Hey, chicken totino. To tocino or I'm I'm hoping it's not to tostinos. Tocino, but I'm thinking tocino. If if we have any uh, Filipino watchers, please correct me. Uh, but yes, chicken tocino. Chicken tocino, ten out of ten. Really? I would eat this chicken every day. Wow, that's it. Every day score okay now, i don't even want to eat all of it because i want to save it right 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 no that me and tahir used to eat the whole meal and then we we're just like let's just take a bite because I, the way i want to eat this shouldn't be on camera it should not <laughs> because it's like yo honestly i don't want to cook later and with all this rice and this chicken left i'm gucci like this chicken right here filipino fridays filipino fridays i love it it was new okay so um, let's go ahead. Oh, 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 the, the lemonade, the, oh, right. The juice, um, the, uh, did you hear that? It's, you, you're serving up some quality pours. <laughs> no, because Grill City is serving up some quality pours. This is the this, calamansi. What is it again? Calamansi juice. Calamansi juice. Okay. This calamansi juice, 10 out of 10. Ten. It is a it. I love lemonade. I am a lemonade connoisseur. Okay, but I can't drink that much lemonade because all the sugar. All it's bad for you. It's just not good for you. Uh -huh. This is like a healthy. Feels like a healthy option. Like I said, I don't know if it's healthy. Right. But it feels healthy. This is a good ass drink. I, I thought when I thought you said it was like it felt like a little bit less than lemonade. I thought you were gonna go for seven or eight, but ten out of ten. Nah. No, nah. even though it's, even though it's a little bit, le nothing will we ever be as good as lemonade, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is a, if I was at a restaurant, they was like, we don't got no lemonade, we got this, I'm Gucci. Refill, refill. Cause it don't, it's not like when you keep drinking, you know, sometimes you drink something, you'd be like, it feels like tart or right. whatever. This makes you want to keep on drinking. Ah, interesting. It's like, kind of like how Gatorade does. Is there electrolytes in this? <laughs> Maybe. Ask, uh, do you, you should do some research tonight because it seems like you're a big fan of Filipino food. <laughs> so you got two 10 out of 10s of the lineup. So that leads me to think uh, this, is, this next score is going to be pretty high. Grill City as a whole, overall score out of 10. I'll give y'all an eight. Overall eight. Okay. Yeah, overall eight. If y'all get y'all rice together, yeah, might be big things popping. Okay, but well, what about the you had, you had the vinegar sauce and everything? All of that is hitting, but you know the rice is a good foundation. If you got, if you gonna give me a mountain of rice, mm -hmm. it better be amazing. Okay, because this is half of the plate. You know what I'm saying? So you give me that good foundation, that good ground to put my my sausage, my meat, my whatever on, then you get a ten. Okay. I like the, I like the tough judgment. It was two tens, an eight and a five, but that five, that five will humble you. I love, look, I'm, I'm Panamanian, yo. Rice and beans and rice and peas is a part of my life. Oh, right. That's, that, that's very true. You got to get the rice right. You can't come to me with rice yeah. and expect me just to be giving y'all nines and tens. Can't be. Okay. Well, there you have it. Grill city. Come back, come through for the chicken. Maybe mix it in with your own style of rice, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, well, let's, let's talk about some gringos. Uh, this is <laughs> <laughs> gringos mariscos. Um, I got the uh, the fried shrimp and uh, I ain't gonna hold, it, it doesn't exist anymore. 10 out, of, <laughs> 10 out of 10. This was so good. I can't believe I only got one order. Did you use the, the, the lime? I used the lime. I used that wow. spice. 
green sauce that was like, it wasn't too spicy, but it's, it's, it tasted like cilantro sauce with a kick. And whatever this slaw was and this unnamed sauce, this Thousand Island looking stuff, I'm going to be back. You're going to be back. I'm, I'm going to hit that up one more again and get maybe like a double order or something like that. Cause And it's in your area, right? It's, it's right in the area. It's a hot skip and a jump away. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be back and I'm, uh, I'm going to see what them, them shrimp fried tacos is hitting like. But um, Lulu, you were amazing. This was, a, this was a nice little lunch. Uh, I appreciate you for helping me out guest hosting. Uh, you said what? I'm warm. Oh yeah, she she said she's signing out with the with the full the full mouth of food. But um, you know she's gonna finish that. And I appreciate you guys for pulling up to the most delicious show on the internet, Lunchtime Lottery. I've been your host, Patrick Cloud, and we will see you on the next plate later. <laughs>